What is going on, everyone? And welcome to another edition of the Thrive Fantasy Show. We are talking some NFL prop contest here at Thrive Fantasy. Uh, with me today, I got my boy, Bobby Gomes. We're going to uh, bring you guys, you know, the, the Thrive Fantasy contest, what they got going on over there. And then we'll check out the props lobby at the end, give you four of our favorite props. But first of all, I got to bring on my co-host, Bobby. Bobby, what's going on, man? Going good, going good. Couple mask guys just on doing this Thrive video. We're going to be thriving, hitting some of these props, props lobby. Just so you guys know, Thrive pretty much uh, basically just they give you 20 uh, prop bets and you're basically picking 10. Uh, then there's a props lobby as well. So we'll kind of hit all that. Um, yeah, let's hop into it. Yeah, so we're going to check out the contest first. So uh, let's let's check that out. We're going to do a little screen share for you guys. Yeah, so basically just getting into it, guys. Uh, ben Roethlisberger kicks off um, ba- the first player prop. He's at 285 and a half passing yards. JSU, I'm going to kick this one to you. Where are you, where are you going with Big Ben here? Yeah, so it's interesting. I, I think that this game, honestly, uh, when you look at it from a fantasy perspective, I think Ben Roethlisberger needs to kind of get it done with his arm. Um, so that makes me kind of, uh, kind of like the over on the passing yards, but when we get into this contest, I mean, we have pretty much 20 props, like you said, and we only got to pick 10, um, as I scroll through it and I'm looking at some of the props, I don't think it's a prop that we need to go on. If I needed to take a lean on this, I would probably like the over a little bit. But, uh, you know, there are some other props as, as we go down that I think I'm going to have a little more interest in. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it to you. Uh, you know, I think that James Robinson rush plus receiving yards over 96 and a half is one that I like, um, for the over. Um, I, I think he does that George Kittle over four and a half receptions. I like another one. Um, so I think we can find some value as we kind of move down the list uh, what about what about you? What's what's your favorite one if you had to pick one? Because right now, Roethlisberger to me, even though I like the over, I wouldn't say it's my favorite one on the list. Yeah, so that's the thing. I was just just kicking it off of the first one, but yeah, we have to pick ten. Um, I don't know. We get Dalvin Cook on the slate versus Seattle. 80 and a half total rush yards. Like I'd, I could definitely see him clearing that just going all the way down. Um, I like that. Yep. It's like my first time scrolling through. Uh, I like the Kittle over four and a half. Like you said, they're obviously in a situation where uh, basically he's at home. And he dominated last week. Uh, Garoppolo tends to spread it around, but I still think you're getting good value. Um, you just take the 70 pretty much there in terms of points and the over. Uh, where else? I, I'll give you one. So everyone likes Daniel Jones this week. Does he? Uh, so he's got a prop of two and a half total for pass TDs plus interceptions. You like Daniel Jones for over two and a half TDs plus interceptions uh, this week? Yeah, I actually like the Dallas defense, but I definitely could see Daniel Jones throwing a TD and then two picks. So, yeah, I could take the over there. We get the plus 125. Yeah, that's a nice uh, point total nice right there, uh, plus 125. I like that too because uh, if you get the Daniel Jones upside game, he probably gives you three touchdowns. And if you know he has a stinker game, he's probably throwing a few picks, right? Yeah, so we get both sides. It's nice to, nice to get a little bit of both, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm with the Daniel Jones call. Yeah, well, I Park, like that too. Parker, 67 and a half receiving yards for San Fran. Uh, you have any thoughts there? Yeah, I mean, the, the volume's definitely going to be there for Parker. Um, you know, his health, he, he went out of that game for a little bit last week and then came back, which was a good sign for him. Um, I, I don't mind that, uh, you know, he's seen, uh, 12 targets last week, obviously before that five and eight. Um, I think it's a spot where he could go over that, uh, what was it? 67. Uh, yeah, it's 67 total. and a half. So I'll tell you the true line 65 and a half. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I think that's a spot where we could look over here, even in a, t- a tougher matchup. Um, a- 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 anything else? We got uh, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, total yards, 111 and a half uh, rush and receiving. What, what do you think about Ezekiel Elliott this week? You like that? You don't like that? Uh, let me pull up Zeke's rush and then his receiving. Um, basically, I, I would pretty much go over. I think Zeke's probably the best running back play on the board, pretty much like everyone else. Over 89 and a half rushing yards uh, for Zeke and then receiving yards. Let me pull it up quick. Quicker than this. Um, 29 and a half. Uh I'll take the over on that. Yeah, Zeke's Zeke Zeke this week, right? Hopefully this is a yeah. Zeke week. Yeah, so uh, uh, another interesting play, Baker Mayfield. And uh, right now on, on Thrive, they have uh, 241.5 pass yards uh, total. So like this to me looks like an under to me. He hasn't thrown for over that amount at all this year. His highest amount of passing yards this year is 219 yards. Um, so this, uh, total to me actually seems kind of high, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, against an Indianapolis defense who is a pretty solid defense all around, even without Darius Leonard. I, I still think that that to me looks like an under spot. What about you? No, I'm with you. This is a pretty slow paced game, right? Too. So in that sense, it just kind of, I'd rather just take the under in the hundred, uh, if he hasn't hit that marker yet all year. Yeah. Um, you know, after that, do you see any other, I mean, we gave out a, a, a few good ones. Um, any other plays that you think are just total locks here? I think Pat Mahomes over 24 and a half, uh, completions is interesting. You get the 105 points for the over here. I kind of like the over, honestly. Um, what about you? Yeah, I'm pulling it up now. Uh, he's off right now in terms of where, where I'm looking. Uh, yeah, I would take the over. They get no pressure. He should be, he should dice them. So, yeah, I, I think it's a spot where he's just sitting back there all day with time to throw and he kind of just uh, picks them apart a, a little bit. Any other spots where you seeing any value here? I, I kind of think going over on the Joe Burrow TDs at 115 makes a little sense. Ravens don't get a ton of pressure. I think they're going to keep pace. Uh, I could take the over, take that 115. We like the overs. Um, I think this game's going to go over. So, yeah, I don't mind Joe Burrow, one and a half, over one and a half TD passes. Yeah, that uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't mind it either. I think they're going to be trailing for a lot of this game, and it's going to set up for just Joe Burrow chucking the ball, right? And we've seen it already with Cincinnati where they're not afraid to let Joe Burrow just throw the ball all over the field. Uh, they've pretty much been letting him do it all year. Uh, he's had 36, 61, 44, and 36 passing attempts in his first four games. Um, you know, he's had uh, two uh, – three and two touchdowns in his second and third game. Um, Baltimore is a tough defense, but like you said, uh, they're going to be trailing. They don't give as much pressure as you would think. They're just really good in coverage. They have really good cover guys, but um, I I think this is a spot where you could go over on that and, uh, you know, get the plus points. Yeah. They're not getting the pressure that they've gotten in recent years. So I don't know if he's going to stand back there. Should it have some time? Um, people might overlook it. I think one and a half, you're getting the 115. It isn't the worst call. Let's switch over to the props lobby, JSU. Uh, I think we hit on pretty much everything there. First off, we have Robbie Anderson, 73 and a half total receiving yards. Any interest there over under? We got to pick four here, right? Yeah, we got to pick our favorite four. I think what we do is we we go two and two, and uh, we each pick our favorite two, and then we kind of put them together. Um, so I, I think I don't mind either of these Carolina guys, you looking at the over on their receiving yards. Cause I could see both of them. Um, but I think the one I like James Robinson over 70 and a half rush yards to me is a, a really good one. I like the over on, um, I do think he has success on the ground. Um, Houston has given up the most yards per game this year to running backs, um, so I, I do think he, he's in a really good spot 
seeing a lot of uh, usage over there in Jacksonville. So I like him. Um, and then probably my other one that I, I really like. So um, one of the guys coming into the week that I loved is Golden Tate. Uh, he, he, he set his, uh, they set his mark at 52 and a half. Now that's interesting. I thought it would be a little lower over here when you got like guys like Juju Smith Schuster at 55 and a half. Uh, receiving yards. I can take the over there. I think that's a really strong play. I also think Wolf Fuller at 65 and a half is a really strong play. So I'm going back and forth on those three guys. I think for me, the safest one is probably going to be um, Will Fuller in that same game with the, uh, you know, I, I talked about James Robinson. I think Will Fuller is my other guy. I like him to go over the 65 uh, and a half mark for receiving yards. So those are probably my two favorite on this uh on this props lobby that i'm seeing what about you all right so i'm gonna go daryl henderson 39 and a half i'm gonna take the over uh we're getting 44 and a half on dk obviously henderson really didn't um play much with malcolm brown getting a lot of the work last week he had the wind knocked out of him at the beginning of the game so i think that's just something to note um i know it's like you pretty much hit on all the good ones so i'm just pulling up what I one I found interesting, uh, and then another one. I like the James Robinson one you you hit on. Um, Juju over fifty five and a half receiving yards. I don't hate that as well. Uh, where where is what it? about Daniel Jones with his rushing yards? They got him twenty six and a half is the the total rush yards for Daniel Jones. He's hit the over on that map mark the last two weeks. What what do you think? Yeah, he has the rushing equity, right? Like in that lower own, lower end range on DK, he's kind of the guy. Uh, we're basically, if you want to take a stab on, he's obviously going to be pretty popular and a lot of builds this for a lot of people in tournaments uh, and DFS. I, I'm not really on Jones this week. Uh, I don't know. Do I think, you think this he could get that Dallas over. Do you think he could get that over on 26 and a half rush yards? I'm trying to pull it up right now so I can give uh, – see if it's posted. Daniel Jones, 26 and a half on DK as well. Um, I don't know. I feel like you want him to get the over. I'm going to say under, though. Ah, you like the under. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, I think he's going to have all the time in the world to to sit back there, but if stuff's not there, I think he's going to be able to to move around with his legs and get it done with his legs too. Um because of the fact that the Cowboys don't really get much pressure on the quarterback, that does a few things. But for a young guy, if his first and second reads aren't there, they're probably just going to tell him to like get out and, and go. Um, if he sees a lane to just kind of run for a little bit and then get, get out of bounds. Um, we have seen his rushing upside too. He's not a slow guy, right? He can move. He's mobile. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm on the opposite of you. I, I think the over is the, the way to go to that there, because like I said, man or no. down. I don't mean, a uh, against the, the, the Cowboys. Yeah. Do the Cowboys play man or so? That's a good question on what the percentage is that they mix up. I don't have the exact numbers on what they mix it up. Cause I'm pretty sure they play a little of both, but I don't know what the, uh, percentages for man versus zone. Um, I would say though, I think you would see like against Daniel Jones, I do think they'll play like they're not afraid of Daniel Jones as a thrower. Like, I don't think they're going to be afraid to man up yeah. uh, and go, you know, let those guys go one-on-one -on -one a few times and bring some pressure on Daniel Jones. But that is a good question on what they do from a percentage standpoint, how, how much they play man to zone. Yeah, if they're gonna, if you think they're gonna play man more, then I, I'd probably switch my answer on that and go with the. Other. I think that either way, like things are gonna break down at certain points, and they're gonna like he's just gonna be forced to run the ball. Uh, like I, I think he's gonna need to use his legs in this matchup a little bit. No, I def on the road too. I get it. Um, well, not that home road splits are really. In during COVID season, it's not as impactful. Yeah, I, I, but listen, it, it's a thing, and like he, he's still gonna, you know, when things break down, I, I think he's just gonna need to get out of there and and, and run. Uh, you know, um, I don't think he's gonna sit in the pocket and uh, you know sit back there forever. He's gonna try his first and second reads, and if they're not there, 
I think he's just going to pull it and run with it. Yeah, I'm down. I'm with you. I, I think uh, I'm going to switch my answer and hit the over. So no, you can't switch your answer after the fact. You can stick with I, your your. You put your me on the spot. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put you on the spot. Um, All right, so putting you on the spot. Anything else here that you're seeing uh, that there's a there's an edge on? Not much. Like there's not. Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore. I just want to pull that up for the receiving yards. I know they're at the top here. I know that. What's be- What's your consensus on Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore? Do you like one over the other this week? <laughs> like. So before like the Bonifin news, I was thinking of playing both to kind of differentiate construction and maybe fading Mike Davis, but I don't think you can really fade Mike Davis at this point. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, but if I had to pick one or the other, these, I'm always yeah. going to go Anderson. Anderson. Okay. Yeah. So you, so you probably like the, the over 73 and a half. I like the over 73 and a half. You're yeah. getting like a slight point and a half on Moore's prop right now on Thrive. Um He's at 67 and a half and the receiving totals, uh, 66 and a half. So I honestly could see them both going over. Like that's yeah, not that's a, the, I feel, I feel similar that that's why I wanted to originally kind of get off Mike Davis, but I feel like it's really difficult at this point. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's tough. All right. Um, I, I think, I think that's it. So for our, uh, for what's your two favorite prop, props, Bobby, if you had to pick two. Uh, like I said, like this was obviously, I think Henderson's like just a better value this week, um, than he was last week. And it's kind of out of left field. I kind of like him in DFS, not like a ton, but, um, at 39 and a half, and I think he's getting 44 and a half on DK. So I think that's a pretty good total. And, uh, I don't want to steal your James Robinson one, but I like that one when you kind of hit on it. Um, you can steal it. That's okay. I, I can give too. I that's yeah. fine because I liked Wolf Fuller and uh, you know I, I'm gonna say Juju. I, I think Juju at 55 and a half. That's that's too low. Honestly, I like the matchup. I think he. Uh, I think Deontay Johnson sees more slay and uh, he gets more of the um, inside. He gets more uh, of a better matchup, and I think Ben picks on uh, whoever he's. Uh, going up against and, and gets a lot of juju. So I, I like him to go over that 55 and a half as well. So we got uh golden Tate to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, juju to go over um, James Robinson over Will Fuller over um, and Daryl Henderson to go over. So those are our four, four plays that we're uh, hitting on that we like the most, but I think we gave a pretty, uh, pretty good breakdown of uh, a lot of these props here and in the contest before make sure you guys if you haven't already go check out thrive fantasy um give them a look it's really fun game if you get four of four props right you get 11 extra money if you get three of if you do three of three and pick all three right you get 6.2 extra money um two of two correctly and you get 3.6 extra money so it's a pretty fun game pretty cool um and simple to to just do. You go go in this lobby and just check it out and see which ones you like. Click over under and uh, submit. So I mean, make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. I think that's gonna do it for us though. Um, for me, JSU, Bobby Gomes, my co-host. We'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.